Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. It is Julie here with your TipRank's pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget to follow us over on TikTok under the username TipRanks for other stock updates as well. I do apologize if there's any background noise today as we're in the middle of a big thunder and lightning storm. You might hear that, but you might also hear a bit of whimpering from my dog who is glued to my feet as he is not having a good time this morning. So apologies for that, but let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are trying to get to the green this morning, but are still ever so slightly in the red. Right now, Dow futures are down 0.02%, S&P 500 futures down 0.08%, and Nasdaq futures down 0.07%. It was recently disclosed that activist investor Third Point has taken a significant stake in Disney, and they may be urging them to spin off ESPN+. In a letter to Disney, Third Point's CEO Daniel Loeb said that we have had over two years to observe management navigate the most challenging time in Disney's history. This quarter's results are an important proof point that Disney's complex transformation is succeeding, and our confidence in Disney's current trajectory is such that we have, in recent weeks, repurchased a significant stake in the company. He also wrote that spitting off ESPN would have greater flexibility to pursue business initiatives that may be more difficult as a part of Disney, such as sports betting. Analysts currently rate the Walt Disney stock a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 12%. Paramount has reached an agreement with Walmart to offer their streaming services as part of Walmart's membership. Walmart Plus members will have access to Paramount Plus Essential Plan, the company's ad-supported streaming service, at no extra cost. Walmart Plus is currently $98 per year. The agreement between the two companies is expected to kick off as soon as next month. Currently, the Paramount stock is rated a hold with a slight upside of less than 1%. In a news release from Galaxy Digital, they have terminated their agreement to acquire BitGo. This was based on BitGo's failure to deliver audited financial statements for 2021 that complied with the requirements of their agreement. They said that no termination fee is payable in connection with them terminating the agreement. The original deal to buy BitGo was valued at $1.2 billion. BitGo replied in a statement saying that they intend to take legal action against Galaxy Digital for their improper decision to terminate the merger. With just two analyst ratings, the Galaxy Digital stock currently comes in as a moderate buy with an average upside of 80%. And shares of AppLovin and Unity Software are falling this morning after Unity Software declined AppLovin's $17.5 billion bid and said they might go with IronSource instead. AppLovin had proposed to buy Unity Software earlier this month, but Unity said that AppLovin's offer was not in the best interest of Unity shareholders and wouldn't reasonably be expected to result in a superior proposal. It's possible that AppLovin could now sweeten its offer for Unity, or they might go with IronSource. They said that that transaction will deliver an opportunity to generate long-term value through the creation of a unique end-to-end -end platform. The Unity stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 8%, while the AppLovin stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 85%. And it seems that meme stock action has returned for Bed Bath & Beyond after the stock rose over 23% yesterday based on no real news. According to MarketWatch, activity has been furious with more than eight times the average number of shares trading hands on Monday than on a single day in the past 65 days. Meme stocks, of course, not favorited by analysts as the Bed Bath & Beyond stock is rated a strong sell with an average downside of 76%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. All eyes this morning were on retail giant Walmart. They did beat earnings expectations for their second quarter and reiterated their outlook for next quarter. While profits tightened, sales did grow by more than 8%. Their sale gains did come from inflation, which are driving up prices of food and other items. They reported earnings per share of $1.77 versus the $1.62 expected, while revenue came in at $152.86 billion, ahead of the $150.81 billion expected. Analysts currently rate the Walmart stock a strong buy, with an average upside of about 9.5%. 
We also heard from Home Depot. They topped analyst expectations on earnings and reaffirmed their future guidance, but the stock is down slightly after their customer transactions declined 3% in the period. Sales in the quarter came in at $43.8 billion, which was up 6.5% year-over-year and slightly ahead of the estimates of $43.4 billion. Their earnings of $5.05 outpaced the expected $4.95 per share. Their chief executive and president said that in this second quarter, we delivered the highest quarterly sales and earnings in our company's history. Our performance reflects continued strength in demand for home improvement projects. Analysts currently rate the Home Depot stock a moderate buy with an average upside of over 10%. Now there's not many big names reporting in the after hours today, but tomorrow morning we'll be looking forward to hearing from Target, Zim Integrated Shipping, TJ Maxx, and Lowe's. So let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by the AMTD Idea Group, as there seems to be a bit of hype left in those sales. Under the ticker AMTD, the stock is currently up 34%. They're followed by Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings under the ticker DNA, up nearly 23%, and New Holdings under NU, up 13%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by Compass Incorporated following their Q2 earnings report. Trading under the ticker COMP, the stock is down 11.5%. They're followed by First Financial Bank shares under FFIN, down 9.5%, and AST Space Mobile under ASTS, down 9.4%. So that is going to be everything for Tuesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.